Close your eyes. Watch your breath. And try to stay with the breath. Hang on to the breath as much as you can. If you make the breath comfortable, it's that much easier to hang on to. So notice what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. As for things outside, just let them go for the time being. You need to work on your inner resources, because that's where your real strength lies. If we depend on the goodness of people outside, and we do have to depend on it to some extent, but if that's our total source of goodness, then we're really in bad shape, because that goodness outside can change very easily. You want to be able to stand on your own two feet to say, my goodness in terms of my thoughts and my words and my deeds, that comes from within and always will come from within, regardless of the ups and downs outside. Because if you take the ways of the world as your guide, you find that it's a very inconsistent guide. Sometimes it points in one direction, then it turns around and points in the other direction. It's like the wind. Sometimes it's from the east, sometimes it's from the west. It's never really consistent. And if your goodness depends on the wind being consistent, in other words, the wind of people's opinions, then it doesn't have much to depend on at all. It has to depend on something you work from within. One, getting the mind to settle down in the present moment so it would see things clearly. Two, settle down with a sense of well-being. And then look at what's coming up and figure out what's the most skillful way to deal with it. The Buddha gives us guidance in how to think of these things, in terms of how to look at sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, look at greed, aversion, and delusion as they come up in the mind. What are you going to do with them? Let them take over? You can't. If you let them take over, then you get knocked over. In order to maintain your position, you've got to take it, what a John Cha calls the one seat in the house. Make sure that your house has one chair and you're sitting in the chair. No matter who else comes in, they can't sit there. They'll try to turn you over and whatever, but you hold on tight. And then eventually you get to the point where you can turn them over, turn them out of the house. So try to develop a good foundation inside where things are clear and we have a sense of well-being. Then you can sort things out as to what to do and what not to do. Train yourself so that this quality of being sure about what's good to do and what's not to do can come from within, and you can rely on it. Because ultimately that's the only source of real stability in the world.